I really enjoyed the process of applying for the Fulbright and I think I gained so much um, personally and professionally. I think it helped me um, focus on who I am as a person and where I wanted to go with my career. I think it also helped me gain a sense of confidence. The committee would be looking for uh, a sense that you actually have something really concrete and precise, um, right down to, in, in my case, actually listing the call numbers of manuscripts in my personal statement to show that I actually know that they are there and that they can be consulted and all of that stuff. Um, and then finally, I guess the, uh, they'll be looking for some insurance that your project is doable within a year because some of these projects wind up taking on truly epic proportions and if it's the kind of thing where it's basically a PhD thesis, you know, there, there might be a little bit more hesitance to fund something like that because it can't actually be completed in, in the one year scope of the grant. I finally had about nine drafts of my essays before finally hitting the final submit button. So it was a really long process, but um, they were extremely helpful through everything and really they helped me to see what exactly um, the committee is looking for or, or exactly how to take all these ideas I have and arrange them in a way that really says I can do this. While I was applying for the Fulbright, I really think I gained I gained a lot of contacts with a lot of people all over campus that I wouldn't have met otherwise and I've definitely read a lot and learned a lot and I know more geography than I did. Um, but I really, I think the biggest thing that I've gained apart from all that is I have a deeper understanding of what it means to be an American because, you know, you hear things like, oh, that's as American as apple pie or something like that and you think, oh, well, if you're going to be really, really American, you have to, you know, you have to like beef jerky and you have to, you know, wear certain clothes and, you know, maybe your skin should be a certain color or something like that and that's totally not it. I think it's believing that, not that America has something to push, but that she has something to offer and that you can share that with other countries no matter where it is that you're from and I really, that's the biggest thing I've gained from this application. I gained a lot from applying for the Fulbright and, and it really doesn't necessarily have to do with whether or not it's received or not, that obviously that would be very nice. The, the experience of actually writing one of these proves really useful um, and also I mentioned that I've been spending this year subsequent to applying for the Fulbright, um, applying for graduate schools, and sort of the, con the process of constructing the personal statement was something that wasn't totally foreign to me after, after working on this. Obviously, they needed to be reworked, but the base was there, and that was really helpful. My advice for anyone pursuing a Fulbright or any award of that kind is to just really go for it and stick with it. Um, there are times when it does get hard, but at the end of the process, you can look back and just really say, you know, I did it, I applied for something great, and even if you don't get it, um, I think that you gain so much more um, because you, you've done it. And I think it's really courageous to put yourself out there, put your dreams and your aspirations out there for others to see, um, and that's, I think, a wonderful accomplishment in and of itself.